Well, hi, I'm Joe for Whistle Out, and today I'm taking a look at the BlackBerry Z30. Now, this is the second all-touch BlackBerry 10 phone, and really, it's probably BlackBerry's best. Sadly, though, it might be the last all-touch BlackBerry we ever see. And then again, it might not be. This is the successor to the BlackBerry Z10, which was the first BlackBerry 10 phone, and it's better in all ways. It's got a more powerful processor, it's got a larger 5-inch Super AMOLED screen, most importantly, it's got a much bigger battery. Now, one of the major complaints with the BlackBerry Z10 was that the battery life was less than a day. This has a 2800 milliamp hour battery. That's more than 50% more battery than you got with the Z10. That means you do get about two days worth of battery, and that's pretty good. Especially because the people who tend to use BlackBerry are business people. They don't want to be charging their phones all the time, and they want to have that bit of extra battery in their back pocket in case they get caught in long meetings or out on the road. What's most interesting about this phone is that since it's come out, BlackBerry's updated the BlackBerry 10 software so that it's now much easier to install Android apps. Now, Android apps have always been able to run on BlackBerry 10, but it's been a much more difficult process. You have to sort of hack around the phone a bit. What BlackBerry's done is they've made it so that you can just drag and drop Android apps onto this phone and it'll install them like it would if this was an Android phone. This is really, really handy. It means you can install, say, the Amazon App Store and you can use it as though this is an Android phone. You can download all of the apps that are available there. You can pay for the apps using Amazon. You can pay for in-app purchases using your Amazon account as well, which is really handy. The only thing it doesn't do, and it's a big thing, is that you can't install Google Play services on this phone. Now that means that you can't log into your Play services for Google Maps, for example, or you can't uh, access the Google Play Store for their apps. You can't download movies or music using Google services. Uh, you can't log on to the Google Play gaming service. There's lots of things that uh, we've come to expect to be able to do with Android phones because of Google Play services that you can't do with this phone. So it's really a mistake to think of this as being an Android phone with BlackBerry software. That's not the case at all. That said, the BlackBerry software is really, really good. It's got all of the gesture control that we saw on previous Blackberries. Uh, the screen, with the extra screen real estate here is fantastic. I really like using Blackberry on this larger display. I thought the four inch of the Z10 was a bit small. This is much, much better. Overall, this is a really, really nice smartphone. And really, if it wasn't a Blackberry, it would come really highly recommended. I mean, if Samsung made a phone like this, I think people would go goo goo gaga. If your boss forces you to have a Blackberry, the Z30 is a, is a great choice. And you will be able to install Android apps. You shouldn't have any compatibility issues with screen size the way you might if you have the Q10 with a little square screen. So the Android uh, processors here is much better with the Z30.